Hey guys, a user in my comment section on a video wanted to know about making custom smart materials in Substance Painter. So I'm going to go over how to do that real quick. And first of all, I all I did here so far is uh, opened a new file. And so here it is. It's a little shoulder armor piece that I made. Um, so in the Layers tab here, you can just get rid of that. That's what it starts with. And in Texture set Settings, we're going to bake the model real quick. Turn off ID. Turn off Average Normals. Set Anti-Aliasing to 8x8. And bake the textures. That's going to prep our model. And I like to use this uh, two-sided panorama as my environment. Seems like a good spot to put it. Okay. And so yeah, um, you can make your own materials in Substance Painter. And the way that you do that is by just making like folder groups here. In the top right there's this little folder button and if you're in your layers tab it'll create this new folder. And then if you click this other button add fill layer and then drag it into that folder and then close the folder that's uh, basically a smart material and then Let's say, go to the Properties Fill. Let's make the uh, base layer here uh, black. Adjust the metallic and roughness. Okay. And then add another uh, fill layer that's white. And then go to Smart Mass in the shelf. And then let's drag and drop, say, dust surface. And now you have like a white dusty surface over this black material here. And you can adjust how much that dusty surface, you know, does by clicking this. Uh, this is like the properties fill button and then properties paint. There's two buttons here. And then if you click the right button, you can see the mask layers and you click on that and then you can adjust things like the levels of like how much you want that uh, this layer to do its certain effect that you've added and uh, let's say we wanted that to be edgeware though we can remove that mask and add edges strong for instance and then we could go to this left button to adjust the height of this layer. Say we want the edges to be indented a little bit and we want them to be metallic and shiny. A little shiny, maybe. So now you got a little bit of edge wear, nothing too fancy. Now let's uh, add another layer with uh, this button here again. And we want it to be like a little dirty, right? Uh, so we'll add that, make it brown, go into Smart Mass, and add, it's like a dirt dusty maybe? Sure. Um, and dirt, I'd say we want to be pretty rough. Maybe add a little bit of height if you want to, or not. Whatever you want to do, make it a little darker. I think this could be a little darker. Maybe a little rougher. Okay. And then... Maybe it's a little too deep on the edge wear. 
And so basically this is its own smart material folder now. And in order to create an actual smart material, uh, you just right click that folder that you've created full of little layers here. You right click it and create smart material. But before you do that, you can right, uh, you can double click the folder and rename it. Uh, I usually start them off with a underscore and then metal new, for instance. Now I'll just put a bunch of numbers so I know that that's just like a test. And you hit enter and then right click and create smart material. And now that smart material, uh, this folder here will show up in your smart materials uh, shelf area as a custom smart material that you've created. And this also goes for if you want to take one of the base smart materials that have already been created. You can just drag and drop it onto your model. And if, say, you wanted to adjust something like the color uh, of everything on it, you want a nice, cool white texture, maybe remove that. And just modifying uh, some smart materials that are already in your um, that are already in your smart materials folder is totally an option. You can do that if you want to. Yeah, uh, not going to do anything too crazy. But yeah, so you've modified that. You can rename it uh, Steel Painted Scrape Dirty Two, and then you could like add white or something into it, and then right click it and create smart material. And it'll put it in there. And if you don't change the, if you if you don't put an underscore in it, it'll just end up showing up next to it. So that's also kind of useful too. And if you ever want to delete one of the smart materials you have created, you can just right click it and delete it. No problem. Uh, I know the ones that are built in, you can't quite do that with, but you can delete your own. And that about covers creating your own smart materials in Substance Painter. Um, we could try just making another one here, just for an example. Let's say add a fill layer, drag it into the folder. It'll go in there. There we go. And then we're going to make that metallic and really shiny sure why not and then a layer on top of that that's just paint like a white paint we'll say it needs to be a little rougher than that and we'll go into smart mass and find an actual paint smart mask and drag it there and you'll notice that the uh, the bottom layer here is the really shiny metallic layer is kind of peeking through any of the holes that the uh, smart mask for this top paint layer had available. If we raise the height a bit for that layer, maybe lower the roughness a bit. It's very damaged. We could go into this right side here and adjust the uh, wear levels a bit. Maybe we want to do the contrast. No. Runge amount? Yeah, sure. Wear level. Runge amount. Hey, that's looking pretty cool, right? Okay. Adjust the height a bit more. Now we want to add some dirt. Let's add dirt by making this darker, a little rough. I get pretty dark there. And let's try a surface worn. That's really, really worn. So we just got to adjust the global balance here. Maybe, maybe that's not the one we want, actually. Soft damage, maybe? Nah. How about dust plastic? No. Dust soft? Nah. 
Dust off too. No. Dust dirty. That's not bad, not bad. Let's see. Maybe make this a little bit more metallic. The paint a little. But nah, we'll leave the paint alone. Does it look better with or without the dirt? I'd say without the dirt. Really, just these two layers alone uh, make a pretty nice smart material. Uh, let's see. And then rename that to white painted metal. Maybe put an underscore so it goes up to the top where all my other smart materials are at. These are all my custom smart materials at the top. They have an underscore uh, or slightly modified uh, base materials, whatever. And we just uh, create another smart material and there it is, white painted. And now that I have that custom smart material, I can even do things like right clicking this, add black mask, and then go over here and click polygon fill. And I can just like fill in parts of the texture that I want it to be that material just like you can with any of the other smart materials of course and I could do a different smart material for the other parts and yeah so yeah that's how you create custom smart materials in Substance Painter I hope that helps you guys if you have any other ideas that you'd like me to cover in a video, just uh, comment in my comment section and I'll try to cover it if I know how to do what you're asking for, of course. And thanks for stopping by and watching the video. Have a good one.